I'm here with Mike Brownlee. Uh, we're in Iowa City, Iowa, day six of Ragbri. And a special visit up to which floor are we on? We're on the 12th floor of the Stead Family Children's Hospital. And why is the 12th floor of the Children's Hospital so special? So the very position that we're in right now is the position for the wave. So you probably have seen the best tradition in college sports. It's right here in this position where we get to look down and our kids get to look down on Kinnick Stadium. And the, in between the first and second quarter, uh, the fans will turn and wave to the kids up here. Uh, they're dealing with a lot of difficult things and help them through their situation. So that's where we're at right now is uh, Stead Family Children's Hospital helping out with uh, our, our RAGBRAI friends to see where the wave actually happens. And how did all this get started? So there was a social media post by a mom uh, out in Western Iowa said, hey, I think it'd be a great idea if we hit the fans at Kinnick Stadium would wave to, to the kids in the new children's hospital. So that's really what the genesis of this was, was that um, you know someone with a great idea posted on social media and it became a new phenomenon. So tell me about the Children's Hospital. How old is it? How many beds? Why is it so special? Uh, so Stead Family Children's Hospital has been open for about a year now, so as of last February. Uh, so it's brand new for the area. We have about 190 beds. Uh, and we take care of kids not only for the state of Iowa, but for the region as well. So it's really important, uh, not just for the university, but for patients and families throughout this entire region. And so you're the chief pharmacy officer. What sort of special considerations might you partake in because it's a children's hospital versus the rest of hospital operations? Uh, our, our kids are, have special doses. They come in all different shapes and sizes and react to medications in different ways. So one of the things that we've done was to make sure that we had specialty trained pharmacists and technicians within the children's hospital to take care of kids and to manage those special doses and the delivery um, of those medications. So as you can imagine with kids, a lot of our work that we do is compounding of special doses and pharmacists are experts at that. And so here at the Children's Hospital, that's one of the things that we do. We also have um, clinical pharmacists with specialty training, specialty residency training. Uh, and so they work as a clinical pharmacist with the patient care team uh, throughout all of our different units in this uh, amazing place to make sure that working with the physicians and nurses that we get the right doses uh, to our kids at the right time and take care of very complex uh, needs for our patients. We, we take care of the most complex in the state uh, and it's great to have staff that are specially trained to be able to do that. And so we're in a rural state, rural region. Yes. And here you've got a lot of centralized skill sets and supports, obviously a beautiful building, yeah. a lot of infrastructure. How is it that you maintain a connection with them as they get out into rural Iowa or out into the community? What does that look like? That's a great, great question. We have outreach clinics where we send our pediatricians uh, throughout the state of Iowa. So that's one way we do that. Another way we do it is through telehealth. So we have telehealth clinics for pediatric patients. Um, we, of course, in the state of Iowa, have close connections with many of our colleagues at community pharmacies. And we have a tremendous community pharmacy network throughout the state of Iowa. And so um, we, if we have a patient that lives, you know, say three hours from here, we'll connect with that community pharmacy. We'll make sure that, um, you know, the information about that patient, their medications is transferred. Uh, there may be things that we do here, like compounded medications that we still have to mail to patients because of the nature of their, their disease. Um, but being in the state of Iowa is tremendous, where we have those connections with our community pharmacists. Uh, and that's one of the ways that we manage medications effectively for those patients. So, you know, a little bit of, you know, outreach clinics, uh, mail, mailing through the mail, special medications, but especially those connections with uh, our community pharmacy partners. Tell me a little bit about your academic mission. Um, certainly you wanna have the most well-functioning children's hospital yes. in, the, yeah. in the universe, uh, but what about that academic mission and what does it mean when folks leave this building to go out and practice after they've had the experience here? We have a, a great connection with the University of Iowa College of Pharmacy. We take almost 600 students per year with experiences here within uh, the organization and they get that training in pediatrics that they can't get anywhere else. And so we're very fortunate to have that close proximity here on campus and connection with the college. We also have a specialty um, residency training program, a PGY2 uh, accredited residency program in pediatrics. And so um, 
we use that program to train our pharmacists uh, in special ways so that they can not only help take care of patients here, but at other hospitals where there are pediatric patients that have needs. Now, when I grew up in my early training and my early practice, it seemed to me at least that family medicine really understood the value of pharmacy better than other tribes within medicine geriatrics as well but pediatrics was always a challenge because it just seemed like a different place and there wasn't as maybe a good appreciation for all of the complexities of medication use maybe not as much exposure so making that connection with pediatricians was always more challenging it seemed to me not from an interpersonal level but from a value proposition to, to how they practice level how have you changed that mindset or bridged uh, and introduce this notion that pharmacy plays a really big role in pediatrics. I think because of the special nature of our pediatric patients, everything from hematology and oncology to uh, the pediatric ICU, neonat neonatal intensive care unit, um, because the needs are so special from a medication perspective, we've integrated ourselves within the teams. We have our students with us as learners, just like medical and nursing students are within the organization. And it's the showing the value of helping them be able to be more efficient, um, us reducing errors uh, for patients that have very complex diseases and medication regimens, um, by us owning the accountability of the medication use system with them as a partner. Uh, and that's one of the great things about pediatrics. It's, about, it's a partnership. And, and that's once you can demonstrate that, then you've earned the trust of, of uh, the providers that you have a chance to work with every day.